Okay, we've added a new segment that I'm excited about. It's been hit every single week. Uh, special thanks to DigiKey for making this happen. This is a DigiKey and Adafruit partnership. Here it is. Are you ready? Yes. Hi, on MPI. I love that song. This week's Eye on MPI is... The ST Safe. Thank you. Um, okay, so this week we're going to be focusing on a security chip. And we've talked about security chips uh, before. Basically, um, you know, you have uh, your microcontroller or microcomputer. You're connecting to the Internet of Things, either, you know, LoRa or Sigfox or Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And chips themselves, you know, they have some security uh, built in. Usually they have like a no firmware read or maybe they have like firmware encryption. But um, that usually isn't a really hardened security system. I mean, th if you're buying a chip specifically for that purpose, you can get one that has, you know, pretty good resilience against attacks, um, such as like decapping or glitching or, you know, brute forcing or, you know, like UV erasing selectively. Um, but even, you know, we even saw like Chips that are only a couple of years old still make mistakes once in a while, and it's possible to uh, crack the firmware out and read it. And that means that if you have a private key, like an authentication key or token, and it's in the firmware, it can be read out, which is what you want to avoid. Because then, um, especially if it's a, a, a private key that's used in every device, um, it's like the same key in every device, um, then somebody could like clone the hardware or do man middle attacks or you know other internet of things security issues so what's nice about these security chips um such as the uh, st safe is that you only oh go, go, go on no, go back. Back yeah go back right. um that's a, that's the next one yeah. um the uh the nice thing about these chips is that you can use any microcontroller so whether you want to use espressif or you want to use microchip or you want to use st or you want to use you know, Tensilka or TI, whatever, any chip you want that has the peripherals you need for your project, maybe it has a built-in radio, maybe it has Bluetooth, and you don't have to worry about whether that chip is a hardened security chip because you will store all of your secrets, your private tokens, your, your certificates, your hashing keys, all go into this one chip, and this chip is, like, not expensive because it only does one thing, but it does it really, really well. So um, there is a um, diagram. This nice little flow chart here. And there's a nice diagram. So um, this is from the presentation. So yeah, so you have this ST safe chip, which is the hardened crypto and hashing authentication chip. And uh, you communicate to it over I2C, so over with any microcontroller. And then you can connect over, uh, you know, any wireless or network protocol you want. It can be used for authentication. So like, you know, making sure that um, the product is a genuine product and it's uh, permitted to talk to the IoT service or to connect. Um, it can be used to speed up TLS authentication. So um, a lot of chips, you know, maybe they're good at one thing, but they don't have a built-in crypto hardware accelerator. Uh, not a problem, you know, if you have to do hashes or AES, you know, uh, encryptions or, or envelope uh, signings, et cetera. Um, this chip does it very, very fast. So, you know, I've seen these chips being used um, as a coprocessor for TLS to speed up the connectivity to do that uh, public key encryption handoff. Um, they can do random number generation and like true random numbers uh, and a couple other things. And uh, so the SC safe comes in two packages, SOIC or like a USON, and it comes in the shield, which I will show on lay overhead. Yeah. So this is um, the shield and um, it's uh, you, basically you can pick this up from DigiKey, we'll have the part number and it's Arduino shield compatible. Uh, so you can plug this into your Metro Arduino, or what we recommend, because the software is available for STM32 Cube, is you grab one of these Nucleo boards, um, which are inexpensive. Um, they're only like 15 to $20 or so. Uh, this one is the L475. Um, we recommend getting the L, uh, focus, yeah. um, the L476, because that's actually what the tutorial, uh, the projects in the software download are built for, and then you just plug this in and then you can just learn how to use nice. this chip. Very nice. So if you're wondering which nuclear board goes with it, now you can go 
to that secondary, the, the whiteboard. Yeah. This is the one that we recommend you get because we already kind of looked at the software. And um, the code is available. Uh, you can download it, but it's kind of designed for STM32 Cube, which is the IDE that STM uses for their chips. And if you haven't used it, Sean Heibel has a great video series to get you started. So if you would like to do IoT and you don't have to worry about security, you want to outsource that security stress, uh, pick out the pick up the X Nucleo Safe A1A. It's available at DigiKey. They have these eval boards, only a couple bucks. Um, plug it into any Nucleo board. Uh, there's a range of them, but again, we recommend the 476. And uh, try out. They have a bunch of examples for the embed with TLS, random number generation, hashing, etc. Yeah, and when you buy it on DigiKey, I think you can put comments um, on the order or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Or just, or just or just tweet. And just say, hey, I saw this on Ask an Engineer, I on MPI, because uh, DigiKey's helping us out with this series and more. So uh, that's a nice way to say thank you, not only to us, but to them. Yes. And that is I on MPI. Thank you. I on MPI.